the reason that what you resist persists is because if you're resisting something, you're saying, no, I don't want this thing because it makes me feel this way, the way I'm feeling right now. So you're just putting out this really strong emotion of, wow, I really don't like this feeling, and it's there, and it just comes racing towards you. You know, the anti-war movement creates more war. The anti-drug movement has actually created more drugs because we're focusing on what we don't want, drugs. People will say, well, shouldn't I focus upon that? That is true. And we say, that is like saying, because someone gave their attention to something they did not want long enough that now it is manifested, I should do it too. And we say, we don't really understand that reasoning. Mother Teresa was brilliant. She said, I will never attend an anti-war rally. If you have a peace rally, invite me. You know, she knew. She understood the secret. I mean, look what she manifested in the world. So if you're anti-war, be pro-peace. If you're anti-hunger, be pro people having more than enough to eat. If you're anti a particular politician, be pro his opponent. Often elections are tipped in the favor of the person that people are really against because he's getting all the energy and all the focus. You want to focus on what you want, not what you don't want. It's okay to notice what you don't want because that gives you contrast to say, well, this is what I do want. But the fact is that the more you talk about what you don't want or talk about how bad it is, read about all of that all the time, and then say, oh, how terrible it is, well, you're creating more of that. You know, so many times people say to me, well, James, I have to be informed. Maybe you have to be informed, but you don't have to be inundated. Learn to become still and to take your attention away from what you don't want and all the emotional charge around it and place the attention on what you wish to experience. I always say when the voice and the vision on the inside become more profound and more clear and loud than the opinions on the outside, you've mastered your life. You are not here to try to get the world to be just as you want it to be. You are here to create the world around you that you choose, while you allow the world as others choose it to be, to exist also.